OR Media present Audio Articles Culture Corner Series Heriwood the Wake by Redwald OR In a time where history and the rolling mists of folklore intermingle, the story of Heriwood the Wake begins. Born in Lincolnshire in 1035, the young Hereward was rebellious from the start. Around the age of 18, he was exiled for disobedience to his father and declared an outlaw by Edward the Confessor. He worked as a mercenary in Europe, honing the skills which would later become invaluable. At the time of the Norman conquest of England in 1066, Hereward was still in exile, but in the autumn of 1067, he returned home whereupon he discovered his lands had been taken over by the Normans and his brother killed and his head put upon a spike at the gate to his house. Thus, Hereward began his revenge. He attacked local Normans at a feast where they were ridiculing the English and with a loyal comrade, Hereward killed 15 of them. Gathering followers, he went to see his uncle Brand, the abbot of Peterborough Abbey, where he was knighted. Then Hereward went to Flanders to plan his resistance. Returning to England in 1070, Hereward made an alliance with the Danish king Sven Estherson and stormed and sacked Peterborough Abbey after finding his uncle Brand had been ousted by a new Norman abbot. Along with Saxon Morcar, a former Earl of Northumbria, Hereward then set up his army's lines at the Isle of Ely, a place only accessible by boat until the ancient waterlogged fens were drained in the 17th century. William's men attempted to attack Ely, using a mile-long timber causeway which sank into the marsh. Then the Normans used the services of a witch, placed in a wooden tower, in an effort to scare and intimidate Hereward, but the witch's tower was burned by the English resistance. Turning to more devious tactics, the Normans bribed the monks of the island to reveal a safe passage through the marshes. William's men used this knowledge to storm and capture the island of Ely. Saxon Earl Morcar was captured, but Hereward the Wake escaped with his followers into the wild Fenland, and the legend of the English green men was formed a resistance which found its way into the folklore of Robin Hood and his merry men. Many tales of Hereward persist, and many have been lost, but although the details of history have been perverted and twisted, the myth lives on. The essence of the Norman yoke, established at the Battle of Hastings in 1066, continues to this day in the divide between the English and those who rule. Herod the Wake provides a historical and mythical figurehead to those who still feel the call of nature and the spirit of the green men, free men of England who would not bow down to alien conquest. In the mists of ancient Fenland, the green men roam free, and the spirit of merry England forever strong shall be. Sieg Wunyo, Wunyo Sieg. Hail the right. You've been listening to an OR Media audio presentation.